Rachel, welcome back to my channel, Bales 1986 SW. Today is Thursday, so that means it's the way in update. So, um, let's talk about the week. As you know, I've been doing a vlog October. However, I have had two days off, and that's because Star Week arrived and it came with Revengeance. I'm not going into too much detail, but we know what it's like. Came out the blue, let's put it that way. It should be end of this week. But anyway, and it just knocked me for six. I felt absolutely horrendous. Um, I've not eaten a lot um, on Tuesday and Wednesday. I've just felt just pants. And today I feel like a human today. I feel so much better today. I've got so much energy. Um, and I just feel, I feel more like myself. Um, so the week I've had um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, totally on plan. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday was, I've, no, I've not had highly sinned food or anything like that. I've just not eaten it a lot because I've just not fancied it. Um, I think Tuesday I had for my tea some rice crackers um, with some cream cheese on and a bit of onion chutney and I had two of them. And then I've just been drinking a lot of Ribena winter spice. Um, so yeah, um, I've had um, chicken Waldorf um, salad with, uh, what do you call it, chicken Waldorf on top of a jacket potato and that is absolutely gorgeous. So basically chop up celery, um, celery, apple, um, chicken breast, cooked chicken breast, um, obviously cold, and then some fromage fray, you mix it all up and it's a really nice on top of a jacket potato, so I've had that. I had an on-plan Chinese, which was um, Saturday, um, which I thoroughly enjoyed. So I've, been, I've had a really good week on plan and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so I didn't know what to expect when I got on the scales like nervous because I'll be honest I didn't want another gain um, because I gained last week um, because obviously last week was Cabra's and um, and I was really annoyed that Star Week had arrived and it just put me in a slump really it, it really really like annoyed me because I'd been really on plan and then I just knew if I don't eat then I unless I always like gain um, so that's what I was expecting, but I tr honestly tried my hardest to eat something, so like just a piece of fruit or something. Um, so anyway, I stepped on the scales and I maintained, so I was so happy. So I've maintained, so I'm 12 stone six and I've lost four stone and six and a half pound. So I have said um, that I'd like two pounds this week. So I end the month in October on a seven pound loss. So a half a stone loss in the month of um, October would be amazing. So I am going for two pounds this week. Um, also this week has been really, really hectic with um, appointments for Grace. Um, so um, next week, because my kids are off this week, um, so they have two weeks off in October. I know a lot of schools just have one, but we only had five weeks off at summer, so that's the extra week. Um, so we've been really busy this week with like activities, keeping, keeping the kids busy. Um, at the weekend, that bubble's hurting my arm. Um, at the weekend, um, we're going up to my parents' house and spending the weekend with my parents. Monday, me and Grace go and see Little Mix, which I'm super excited about. Grace asked for this for her Christmas present last Christmas, so she's super excited to be able to go and see um, Little Mix. Um, I cannot wait. Um, and then it's Halloween this week. Can't wait. And the kids... Uh, I always um, duo the kids, so we've done like Harley Quinn and Joker one year, we've done Sally and Jack one year, um, what else have we done? Um, a zombie American cheerleader with a zombie um, American footballer, they always go as a duo, it's just, it's just something I really like and the kids go along with it, they're like yeah okay mum, okay and this year Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I just love it. I absolutely love um, trick-or-treating. And also what I'd like to say um, within this is, as you know, Grace has um, allergies and she was tube fed, which, which means um, trick-or-treating can be um, 
quite hard for Grace because obviously chocolate and sweets and things like that. Um, so what I would like to ask, so if you're spending two pounds on a bag of chocolates, why don't you spend a pound on chocolates and the other pound on non-edible foods? Um, so it could be like bouncy balls or, or um, glow, um, glow sticks or some chattery teeth or some like spider rings or something like that. So children who, who can't eat, who have allergies, they're all accepting um, on your doorstep. And this is called the Teal Pumpkin Challenge. So we ask people to just decorate a teal pumpkin so parents would know that you have non um you have ed non edible foods um at your door now if you don't celebrate um halloween that's completely cool like each to their own um we will only knock on people's door if they've got decorations or they've got pumpkins we will never knock on someone's door if it's complete darkness or there's no like halloween decorations like they celebrate it it's just being respectful at the end of the day so that's what i would like to ask um because there will be children at the door who who can't eat or they've got allergies and it's just nice to know that everyone can enjoy the fun of halloween um what a lot of parents do is like this is just for our experience is we'd have something called winnie winnie the witch which is a switch witch so basically any chocolates grace does get um then winnie the witch uh, at the night time will switch them to sweets she's able to have um or to some like non-edible like or like rings or glow sticks so she feels part of it um so yeah that's what i just thought i'd like to mention um so yeah i've got a really busy week coming up but i am determined um to get that two pounds off and to um finish the month of october on um on a, a really good positive month but if i whatever happens i've i've bagged already a five pound loss this month which is just it's incredible um, but I'd like to finish off with a £2 loss so it means that the whole of October I've lost £7 which would be amazing. So in, uh, in November I have set myself a little challenge and this is where I need your help. So in November I'd like to do a thing called outfits in November. Um, so what that means is I need you to give me some little challenges so that could be I don't know um, Disney rainbows um, fireworks stars leather print and I would then once I pick them out of a jar one one a day in November I would have to dress accordingly what that thing said so if it said leopard print I could wear this leopard print dress and basically what it, it, it's what it is for me to do is to look in my wardrobe more and use more of my clothes what I'm using um, because I, I find that I'm just using a certain selection of clothes and I'm like if, I, if I'm not using it then I'm going to like charity it off I want my, my clothes and my wardrobe to be clothes which I'm using all the time and they're not just sitting there um, for me not to wear so that's what I'm challenging myself so it's outfits in November so any little like um, things you want me to dress then comment down below so it could be I don't know yellow orange uh, rainbows unicorns um, and I would take an aspect of that and then dress the same and then on my Instagram which talking about Instagram I have changed my Instagram name to so yeah talking about Instagram I've changed my Instagram name to hey bales 1986 a it's a lot shorter than bales 1986 SW weight loss and also as well I'm more than just weight loss on my Instagram account so it just represents me more and a lot of my friends used to say hey Bales um, so that's why I changed it and on there every day in November I will then show you what I pull out of my little jar and then the following day I will show you what I have wore for that um, for that outfit so it'd be lovely to see you guys do it if you want to join in for me it's just so i can i can use my wardrobe more um, and to be a bit more fun um and yeah just enjoy wearing clothes and taking me out of my comfort zone a little bit and um yeah i'm really excited for it and um, so that's it so i um maintained this week which i'm really happy about um that star week of mine so I am looking for a two pound loss this week. 
So I hope you have a wonderful week. As always, food optimizers send huge positive thoughts. Rachel, bye.